Anyway, I'm just, uh, gonna... No, no, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and read about history. He says, uh, yeah, um, the library closes at 9, so uh, do do some... Uh, keep it yeah. quick. I don't want to have to usher you guys out. Just uh, take nah, some time, I'm, you know? I'm out. I'll, I'll catch you with history. And I'm a you walk as if I'm leaving, see. but, you know, uh, not the old Catch-22. <laughs> The bait and switch, uh, and then I get triggered when I see this carpet. Are you guys doing anything at the table? Uh, I'm pretending to read a book. I'm reading the rules and trying to pronounce what they say. I don't even know what language they are. <laughs> uh, they don't, don't want to be like. This. There, there are some symbols that are like a script, but most of them seem to be like circles and like, uh, like symbols of like. Chain spells sort of placed on the door, not so much like words or anything. Yeah. Some of them just Any... seem kind of decorative. <laughs> <laughs> Any script part, I'm going to try read or pronounce whatever it says. Don't care if I don't know the language. Um. Butcher so you you start looking through. You you recognize like a lot of the spells from the role you got on it, like uh. This this type of magic is something you kind of like have just known about um, through just kind of like your interactions with magic, but essentially um, some of the script seems to be interchangeable in some of the circles. Like you just have to write down this word, but you can write it whatever language you want. Uh, and the dominant script in all these symbols is Elvish, just as mm. a fun little fun fact. It's just sort of just like trying to read it. Read. I can't read Elvish. It was Aquarian the node. I mean, you probably recognize Elvish, but just can't read. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it, it is, as a student, like at the school, you're gonna recognize every single script. Like you've seen all the languages, but like, you, just whether or not you like know what the hell it's saying is the the a real kick. question. Yeah. Can That's I okay. kick this carpet as I walk past it? <laughs> yeah, kick it. Yeah, give it, give it kind of a, like a, a shove. Yeah, it's just like it just like the the, the corner just kind of flips up as you just kick it. You walk past it carefully. As it wraps around you, <laughs> yeah. just it, uh, rips your, yep. uh, it rips you in half. Shit! <laughs> you got me again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> You know, the carpet, it just looks like a normal carpet. It's yeah, like it's yeah. not moving, it's not. Yeah, the red and this is very. It's a very red carpet. It is. Never be too careful. Okay. I'm gonna try and look for a good spot to hide. I'll be like, um, there's sort of like there's, there's like a very some... thin space between all the bookshelves. Uh, there's a table you could hide under. Um, you could hide under the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so we're trying to. Oh, so we're trying to hide. Oh, joy. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and hide from Xenazex at least. Like, just stay out of his line of sight and pretend I've left. So yeah, I'm going to look for like the most optimal crawl spot to jam myself uh, into. Make, an, make a intelligence check just for some cute DM tips. <laughs> Fuck. Hiding under the carpet seems like yeah, a pretty good idea. Okay. You can see there. <laughs> There'd be a carpet over you. Fuck, I do it. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> this is where Xanzax rolls in that one perception. No, I do it. I believe that's what the happens best when a natural spot. one meets another natural one. <laughs> yep. When an unstoppable one force meets an immovable meets object. An immovable object. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, 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 I believe that's the best hiding spot now. That's that's where I'm gonna hide if I need to. Okay, so you do realize the GM totally now needs. No, needs the to... GM totally now needs to jokingly make a carpet of invisibility. Oh, why? Can you imagine that? Carpet. He just hides against it. <laughs> well, yeah, totally. People okay over there? Baby? Uh, that wasn't my end. Okay. Yeah, no, that's my end. I'm in my hotel room still. Oh, sorry yeah. about that. There, there are just some people that are drunk. <laughs> See, Come they're on. rubbing my chin, looking at the carpet. Hmm. 
Uh, Miriam walks over to you and she says, uh, Julian. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jesus. She says, um, listen, uh, we need we need to find a place to hide. Yeah, I found this carpet. She says, what? Yeah, kind of go over and lay on the carpet, like, on top of them. Like, if you just lay real flat, <laughs> like, if I, I kind of spread myself out like a starfish, if you just get really flat, he won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you guys seen um, Infinity War yet? You know how it drags? Yeah. You know yeah. We'll all just stand <laughs> still. Yeah. We'll all just stand that's, very that still. Is, that is exactly what you just trying right now. Move so slow and they can't see. Uh, Julian, make a stealth check while on top of the carpet. Mm. It sounds about right. <laughs> You're wearing blue when you're yeah, standing on the sleigh. Yeah, bright blue on fucking red. She says, um, I think, I think we can find a better place to hide. Um, no, but just imagine I'm under. Just, she says, oh, you're gonna, are we gonna, I, uh, do, do you go under the carpet? Yeah, yeah, I kind of roll off and like flip it over me. And then try and lay really flat. <laughs> Make another stealth check. <laughs> you only be roll that twenty and become two dimensional. Hey, well, we yeah. got the carpet. Yeah. You're you're a skinny guy, so you just sort of <laughs> slither under. <laughs> so as it walks over, just hears a crunch. She says, "Um, uh, she says like a vaguely Julian shaped <laughs> bowl. Like my feet are still holding it. Yeah, you got your foot is still like dangling out." <laughs> She says, um, I mean, I'm gonna go find somewhere else to hide. <laughs> <laughs> and she walks away. Your little should just become a, should just become a spider. He'll be fine. Oh my god. Yeah, we can uh, all do that. Yeah, yeah I'm saying your little is fine. Uh, yeah, Miriam I'll walks fine. over to the table of you guys. He says, um, hi. Uh, Hello. Howdy. She, she glances over at uh, Xanazax and sees him kind of like scribbling on the Scroll chuckling to himself, and she says, "Um, we need to figure out places to hide and make him think that we left." Ah, uh, well, I'll need to hide the door somewhere. I can just transform into a spider. You guys, however, probably she, going to have to hide under tables or behind. Yeah, she, she says, "Um, you can slide the door in between two like bookcases." That that seems smart. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. No, this is a genuine question. How much is here? Yeah, we'll go and finish. How much does Mr. Zanzak seem to look up? Yes, I'm thinking of hiding on top of a bookcase. <laughs> Just oh, he's got, he's got the horns up there. He doesn't really like his field of vision is kind of like obscured almost. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm going to try and do, I guess. Hide on top All of right. one. <laughs> go ahead and make a acrobatics or athletics check. Oh god. Oh, do Want me to help you and give you a boost up? So it's yeah, can, I just, can I just step on Yertle's back? Oh yeah, so you're, where yeah. do you want to? Which bookcase do you want to climb? I'm gonna slide my door in between these two bookcases. Which two? Uh, which bookcase do you want? I'm just gonna conspicuously. I'm gonna do, sit do in the, the very like, hold down mouse I'm gonna thing hit, on the I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna hide in the middle one of the three in a row, or the six in a row. You know what I'm talking about. You can see. Yeah. That. Yeah. I'll stand there, kind of crouch so you can get on the back easily. Uh, you're, you're gonna... Mr. Xanazex can, like, completely see you. Oh, no. Uh, you realize if I know the fact... Like, like, like he, he's, yeah. he's, he's turned around, like, he's, he's not looking at you or anything, like, he can't see you right now, but, like... Yeah, okay, so go ahead and make a, uh... Acrobatics check with advantage. Oh, joy. <laughs> so fucking dumb. <clears throat> no, I really shouldn't do this. I just think it would be funny. No, it. It'll be good. If you succeed, it'll be perfect. Yeah, I know. For the walls. I'll be a spider on his back. Okay, so Gale does like a, a Mario jump, like step on your back, and then does like a backflip and just lands on top of the bookcases, like silently. Boomba. And Yertle Miriam comes over and says, Um, could you 
And she sort of motions to, like, get on your back. Yeah. <laughs> Are we all heading up? You can head up to... <laughs> We're all heading up. She kind of all stumbles four. for a bit, and, uh, she, she kicks one of the books, uh, off the case, and it sort of flops onto the ground. And then she scrambles up on top. And then, uh... Quickly pick up the book. And look like if I dropped it type. So, like... Yeah, Mr. Zanzak's kind of like... He doesn't walk over, he just kind of, like, glances. And, uh, sees you holding the book. And, uh, just kind of turns back and just, like, doesn't... Like, like, he gives it, like, a little smile and he just turns back. Go and put the book back. Like, Dante. Dante, you wanna go up to me? Miriam will, like, lean over to Gale and says, That that was really close. Yeah, that was. This is where Dante else. runs up and just I like mean... bashes the chair into the back of Xanazex's head. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. That's my uh, the approach I would have done, but no, like, if, if he catches us, then we do that. If he catches us, we leave. We don't knock out a teacher. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong no, with you? We can. We knock him out and then fog wall him to make sure. Oh, oh crap, no. Oh, wait, actually, if we do get caught, uh, Yurdo should probably immediately fog wall. Dante, where are you hiding? Uh, I was going to. How would you um, just be sitting there and he would miss you? <laughs> I was thinking about, like, maybe hiding behind here. But, like, That's if good. everyone's hopping up on, on the top of the. Well, shelf. we can all be in the same place. That's a bit too conspicuous. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was okay. going to go to where I hid my door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide behind like here. Okay, I'll accompany Dante, but as a spider, once everyone's up. All right, just like hop uh, on my shoulder then. Yeah, like I'll hop on his shoulder as a spider. So we currently are following the parrot rule, aside from Julian. Hey, I Julian got the rug. has the rug. Oh yeah, Julian is now paired with the rug. I'd ship it. <laughs> Julian X rug. Yes. Exactly. I'll write a fanfic about it. Oh, oh, that, that, that's that's the new hentai that's coming out soon. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> Black Widow. Nah, Black Yurdo is funnier. <laughs> Black Yurdo. Black Yurdo. Black Yurdo. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> All right, so, uh, nine o'clock rolls around, and Mr. Xanazix goes to, like, start looking around. Um, he sees you guys all just kind of left. And uh, he just, like, as he's whistling, he just, like, walks around. Oof. Julian, he, he comes to the door. And steps on the carpet. I need you to make a constitution check as he steps on you. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh it's like, good boys. Oh, it's good, boys! Oh, you... Uh, <laughs> you're silent as he just, like, steps on you. He completely does not see your foot sticking out <laughs> or the, the shape of you <laughs> under the carpet. This is the best teacher to go the library. As he just, like, whistling walks out of the library and you hear the door click locked as he leaves. Oh, shit, I could have just picked the lock of the door. I realized that now. just in. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, note to self, I have lockpicks. Right. I gotta crawl out, like, holding my wrist. <laughs> just, <laughs> ow. I'm, I'm just gonna yeah, jump he, like, out. he, like, crunched your hand. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna head on down. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this. You know, in hindsight, I could have just picked the lock. That, to hindsight is 20 I'm gonna like Metal Gear crawl across the floor. Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna keep the carpet. <laughs> a weapon. <laughs> no, no, no. I leave the carpet. No, no traces. No, the carpet. The carpet should be his box. No, Michael. Yeah. Now you have to put Snake Eater in the jukebox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. I do. Um. <laughs> I'll just get the the one song, not not Snake Eater, but uh, crap. Don't work. Don't work. So we're trying to break the what's it called, right? The ward first. Metal door. Yeah. Should we wait a bit for Xanazex to leave? Okay. I can't just control back Black Yurdle. Oh my God. What's Black Yurdle? Okay. So I guess we're just oh, gonna Black spring Yodo. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm crawling. I'm crawling down towards the uh, forbidden. <laughs> Alright, so you just like military crawl with this carpet on you. I'm just gonna jump off and slow my and fall. 
and I'm gonna offer Mirian like help down. <laughs> All right, yeah. So yes. you sort of just like slow fall, just like choo. I can't slow um, fall anyone else, so I kind of have to ask her if she wants help. Uh, she she sort of like like goes to like if you're gonna catch her, and she goes and she just jumps off. Oh, Geronimo! Oh my oh, gosh! So what's check, Gale? In athletics or strength? Just strength. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you you catch her, um, and just sort of set her down, and she sort of like thanks you, um, Dante. You just kind of squeeze out. Yeah. All right, and then, uh, do you stay a spider, Yertle, or do you do you hop out? I want to hop out as a spider, going to like get to the metal door as a spider, and kind of just like prepare myself. So you sort of poof. You grab the door from behind the... Yeah. My dual back. Okay, so we're doing... So we're doing the wards now, right? Huh. The banes and that, yeah. Miriam yeah. sort of cuts in front. Uh... Stand back a bit. So can we all help? Work? Can we all help? Or... How does this work? She waves. She says, um, can one of you come here and help me with the door? I gotcha. um, I'm gonna inspire her. Okay. You got this, Miriam. Oh yeah, kick that ward's ass. And then actually assist in the... Trying to cast a spell magic, even though I don't know it. Uh, yeah, make an arcana check with disadvantage, and then you yeah. can also roll inspiration for Miriam. Fuck myself up real quick. Hey, hey not bad. M Miriam! Miriam, you're fucking me up over here. Julius <laughs> does it on his own. And Miriam just kind of slaps him afterwards for so or it's, on, or it's with magic. So uh, Miriam and Julian both uh, she, she she sort of grabs her she takes her hand Julian oh, and she Six. puts it uh, <laughs> she puts it on the door and she says okay um, let's give this a try oh, and then nothing oh, happens. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it! <laughs> and she sort of she sort of like curses. She's ah oh, shit. Um, let's try again. Alright, second time's the charm. And uh, she she goes to do it again. <laughs> also attempt. <laughs> Fuck it off, Miriam. <laughs> Miriam. Okay, we. Okay, Miriam okay. Time out. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll that again. That's. She's all her <laughs> rock kind of have been that once. Okay. She, she doesn't know what she's doing clearly. <laughs> you want the door master to mess with us? Yeah, you walk the up and like, rub your hand on it. Uh, you, you, she's, you sort of hold your hands on it, um, and then after a long, like, just nothing, uh, the, all the, like, wards and glyphs in the door just disappear. Uh, she, she goes to open it, and then just nothing happens. She says, oh, crap. I got it. Do I feel weird? Alright, safe cracking team, go to work. Do you feel weird? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, I, I just... Having done that without knowing how to, like, well, then again, that's all my magic. But just in case of disadvantage, I guess that works. <laughs> that was just an extra, extra quick. Yeah, you, you, you pick the lock. No promise. It's not a very complicated lock. You're like Fonzie, uh, just tap it. <laughs> just unlocks. <laughs> hey. uh, Julian, you don't, you don't feel like you really did anything. Like uh. you, you, you remember. Um, Try to cast a mage hand and like the very like simple action of just picking something up being like way above your head. Just through like the, the means of magic because you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> but like you, you were literally just like holding Miriam's hand against a door and then it just like stops being boarded. Okay. So are we gonna have designated pairs to make sure that if we have to split up we go with who? Are we Julian and Miriam? Miriam says, there's an odd number of people, Gale. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be a three and a two, obviously. I'll go with my doll. It's like my pair. That doesn't count as a pair. That doesn't count as a pair. I will fucking fight you. Look. We'll... Counts as a pair. We shouldn't go up. We will discuss it when it comes. I'm okay, going to go. attempt it's to... It's coming open. now. The door We're is not going to split up <laughs> right out is... the doorway. We could. Why would we? Well, what if we're attacked when we get in there immediately? Well, then we'll be automatically yeah. split up by what's attacking us. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Let's just get inside. We can worry about it when it happens, I guess. I'm gonna open the door. Ah, fine. 
has it stolen when we're right in front of a forbidden room? Yeah, no, I'm just gonna pop- I'm just opening the door and walking in. I guess I'll put my hood up for no good reason, aside from I just want my hood up. <laughs> Alright, you just do the little hoodie strings, uh... Yeah. You're <laughs> like, fucking Kenny. Alright, so yeah, oh, Gilly, Gilly, you walk in first? Yep. Uh, if I walk okay, in so... and see red carpets, I, uh, urge everyone not to step upon. So Julian, so you're going in after Gail? Red... Yeah. So walk around the carpets, basically. Yeah, I don't want you, to you, Julian, you, you, you do look in and you do see a very reddish orange oh, yeah. carpet. Oh yeah, I see these carpets. One protected me before, but they may betray me. Does the armor take a swing Top as I walk Top ten anime by? betrayal. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, actually, the armors are holding swords, right? How nice does the armors and swords look? Do they look like they would work or antiques? I don't touch them. So, uh, Gale, like as work. you walk uh, in front of the suit of armor, it suddenly it begins to me. move. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, I think it And the armor sort of, like, very slowly uh, picks its sword, and, like, like, un, like, it's like, it's like the sword is, like, the tip is sort of, like, embedded in its little pedestal, and it pulls it out, and the steel seems to, like, sing as it, like, raises it in the air, and it steps off. Uh, oh, towards joy. you. And okay. I need you all to roll initiative. Oh, roll initiative. Yeah, my sword is wrong. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so, uh, Julian, you go first. Um... <laughs> Thank god I have a dagger. I'm just uh... gonna shank the knight. <laughs> <laughs> Irish, no. Irish, you've literally he'd been built and working on shit this entire time. Yeah, you yeah, never talk so... to me either. No, yeah, uh, unless yeah, you never don't... left the uh, arts and crafts room. <laughs> yeah, you just dealt well, until, until I was kicked out. Uh, yeah, at dinner. Can't do I, just, I, uh, I just go work on other shit. Pull out my base. It's time to, to rock this nerd. Alright, yeah, that just hits. Uh, Oof. Go and roll. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> then I uh, inspire Dante. <laughs> Boy needs it. You seem to hate inspiring me. I don't think I've been inspired once. Yeah, but, you know, you're not my boy. Yeah. Sure. Is there, like, a word for, like, new boy? Like... Yeah. No, nah, I'm a knob. Fresh door. Man. <laughs> I'm a knob. Yeah. Yeah, so you seem to take your, like, bass guitar and you sort of smack it in the face and, like, the little point of the visor just, like, crunches in. <laughs> Look. If we're actually being door things, I want to be key. <laughs> no, you're not a key yet. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> That's a pretty high position yeah. there, buddy. I think yeah. you're a key already. You're stepping, boy. You're stepping. <laughs> this is stupid. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It is. It's funny. All right. But yeah. Rest the thing peace. swings with its sword. Um, this sword swings across, uh, and he hits both Dante and Gale. Ooh. Oh. Uh, both for 12 points of damage. Ooh. Wait, wait, what was the- what Ooh. was the to hit? What was the to hit? Uh, Gale, for your attack, he got a, uh, 19, and then for Dante's, he oh, got Oh, I'm gonna shield that then. Wait, Dante's armor class oh. is less than 14. Jeez. Yeah, what do I have? Not everyone has armor. I have 12. Okay, yeah, so, uh, Dante, this sword just, like, slashes through your, like, across your chest. Uh, and then as it goes to hit Gale, like, straight in the face, this magical little barrier just pops up and the sword just pings off of it. Not this time. Julian, a flash of blood just, like, sprays across your vision as Dante's, like, upper chest is sliced open. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna need one of those, uh, those healing things, buddy. I'll, I'll try, I don't know how to do it properly. You only get PTSD from this. <laughs> yeah. uh, Miriam freaks out and she says, Oh, ah! And uh, she runs over to Dante and she puts a hand on his chest and uh, a bunch of golden light sort of like goes from her hand onto his chest and heals him. That uh, is got you, buddy. You get seven hit points back. Oh, nice. And that is her turn. Uh, Gail, you're up. I need the wrong one. That was supposed to be that was supposed to be shocking, but yeah. 
Okay, yeah, geez, go and roll the damage for Shocking Grasp, or Slash. I mean, why do you have advantage? Oh, no, yeah, you are kind of opposite me, right? So. Also, also it's, a, mm. it's still a Shocking Grasp, basically. <laughs> so, it's, and this thing is clearly metal. I swear, if this thing is. Oh, metal. yeah, 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 it is Shocking Grasp with his metal. Nice. Okay, yeah, so, um, Gale pulls out the, like, the rainbow crystallized blade and just, like, charges it with lightning. And as it as he like embeds it into the thing's side and like it, just, it sinks into the armor, the whole thing it pulses <laughs> lightning and just collapses in pieces onto the ground. Holy huh. shit! Okay, I'm just gonna look around. Anything else look like they're going to kill us now that I <laughs> I'm gonna shift the carpet. Da, da, da. <laughs> Shifting the carpet. I'm gonna go down and stab the carpet. Also, have we finished off every fight with a crit so far? You might have. Yeah, Julian, you shift the carpet. Yeah, just stab it. Just look around. Uh -huh. Does the other one feel like it. it's. Does the other one seem like it's gonna move? The other armor is not moving. Okay, we should put this back. <laughs> yeah, kind of put the armor back up on its stand. Try and, like, yeah. bang out its head again. Not mending anything that falls off. Probably won't 16 champions, but hey. Uh, Miriam goes to help, uh, put yeah. it back up. Uh, if, while you guys help put it back up, I'm just gonna watch to make sure nothing else attacks us. <laughs> she she like, kinda holds uh, up the, uh, the helmet that's been sort of scrunched. Yeah, yeah, I wanna try and mending or bend it back out. You kinda just hit it with the handle of the dagger. Yeah. Okay. You need help. Beat, it, it looks beat up, but it's, it's not super noticeable when you sort of set it back up. Yeah. I just thought of something. Uh, did we close the door behind us, by the way? Uh, no. We probably yeah, should. Maybe close it. Like, I'm one of the locks, and from the inside, and the ward goes back up. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, if the ward goes back up, we can just dispel it again. Yeah. Well, well, if we well, got well, in, we can get back out, right? To be fair, the door, the door to the library is locked. In theory. Are you sure that's a good idea? Because a lot of places, it's harder to get out of than to get in. I realize how that sounds, but still. Going close to our anyways, listening to Dante's advice instead of Gales. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Somebody go poke the other armor. Mir Miriam well, says, maybe we could, like, um, we could, like, close the door, like, a, a little bit, but not all the way. I don't know if the enchantment will go back up. Does anybody have any solitaire? Yeah, where'd I get a piece? I have a piece of paper. Okay, I put that in front of, of the latch. There you go. Uh, Miriam, yeah. well, Miriam goes and she she takes off her left shoe, oh. and uh, she'll she'll kind of close the door and put the shoe in between the door and the wall. Okay. I mean, I got other well, stuff we could use. Like a shoe's important. So I'm gonna make sure that this armor doesn't try to murder us when us while we try to. Can someone make sure the armor doesn't try to murder me if the thing yeah. is locked? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try. Can someone open throw the door. something at it. I'm going to actually just walk up to it and get ready, like, starting to chant something, like, which will be... Okay, yeah. He just walks, like, he just walks, like, straight in front of it? Yeah. Alright, so, Yertle, as you step on the carpet... Yes, us try uh, you. Uh... It begins to move. And, uh, in, like, a snake-like whip motion, the carpet, like, slithers on the ground and like segments, and then starts wrapping around you. Uh -huh. How the hell- how, 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 how the hell did Lucky not tell oh, it's the turtle? Raw he didn't tell the turtle, he told other people. I'm shipping yeah, this I know, bitch. But how, 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 yeah, Rowan, are Don't we rolling initiative again? Me. Or are we just restarting? The carpet! The carpet. The carpet attacks, I told you it would! We'll, we'll, put, we'll put the same initiative. Okay. Uh, well, if it gets a higher initiative than me, I'm fucked. Well, is your oh idea. wait, it's like we know, um, at least we now know like who can see the future. Yeah, don't know like who can go find himself. Um, so... Does it ca technically have me, like, wrapped around me, or is it like... Restrained. Yeah. Um... Am I restrained? So here, give me a sec. Uh... Oh shit, yeah. Um... <laughs> So yeah, this thing just like wraps around you and like uh, like it has like a tough time getting around the entire width of your shell, but it, it like slithers around and like wraps you up like in like 
a bunch of knots and like wraps your arms against you. You could retract, retract into your shell and then just pop back out with your strength. Oh, yeah, is he technically could. grappled or restrained? Which? Um, he is grappled. Okay. Okay. So you could still attack. But you I totally. Mean... I, 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 now that I think about, it, you totally could just pop into your shell. Yeah, I could literally just. I'll be see, back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't sprinkle a total. Unless it crushes your shell, then it's hardcore. Yeah, but that's gonna be a very hard. That's gonna be hard to do while we're trying to get the shit out of it. If I pop into my shell then pop out, it's just around my shell instead, and it's kind of like. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, Dante, you're up. All right, yeah. I need to get in there and help my boy out. So I pull out my knife, and I'm gonna try and cut, cut it. it off my shell. You start like skinning the rug. <laughs> it's like it's skinning the tag for your knife. Okay, no, you don't. Um, so you're gonna be you 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 probably have, you're gonna have proficiency with knives. Definitely so proficient. uh, go go ahead and roll. Uh, we'll we'll make a macro for this one. Go make a dexterity check and then add two to it. Okay. <laughs> So add two, so ten. Not a save, just a check. So go. Oh. Well, it's the same thing. He's not proficient. He's not proficient. There's no difference. It's the ten. He is proficient. No, and deck saves. What is save on? I thought we turned that off. You clicked a different thing. You not the right button. Under You click the actual world. On the left where the big numbers is, you want to click the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw dexterity and immediately reactionary. Just oh dexterity, I'm gonna click that. Oof. <laughs> All right, time to use the inspiration. All right, that's a little bit better. <laughs> so, so, oh, yeah, nine. so uh, still ten. It's ten, I think, right? Nine. You you go to like that's slash at the rug and it just like it slithers out of your reach and like you just like don't really come against anything as it like just roughly slides past you. Uh, Julian, you're up. Um, am I far enough away where I could cast a ranged spell? Or am I too close for ranged spells? Uh, you can probably back up, like, where Miriam is, and just kind of, like, kind of slightly shove her out of the way. Now I'm jumping on this boy, I'm shivering this nerd. <laughs> I realized the way I'm looking was basically the armor, so I can't see any doors. It's just a wooden room. Oh, Four. yeah, no, that makes sense. Plus... Oh, yeah, that definitely hits. Go and roll the dagger's damage. Totally. You're just gonna be a 3, three yeah. HP dealing machine. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Julian, like, basically essentially jumps on Yertle's back, um, as the carpet is, like, enveloping him, and you just start, like, shivin' it, um, and you, you just start, like, sh ripping holes in it, and you're not, you're, like, you're sort of clanging off Yertle's shell, but you're getting through the fabric. Uh, Miriam's up. She, she kind of moves up, and she says, do we, do we, do we hit it with spells? Is it, is that okay? Will it hurt him? Just don't set it on fire. Just get the fucker off me! Yeah. Don't want to be stuck in my motherfucking shelf all night. Uh, she pulls out uh, her wand and she's gonna cast magic missile. So just, Ooh. uh... I just realized my only level 1 attack spell is so fucking loud that it's not it's good for us thunder wave. Of course it's thunder yeah. wave. <laughs> Okay. Hey, to be fair, you're a bard. You're not necessarily oh, yeah. meant to cast combat spells. Yeah, if we ever need to fall, I I got us. I mean, I got myself for falling, but yeah. yeah. All right, so these four uh, magic missiles like burst out of the tip of a wand, um, and they all crash into this carpet for ten damage. <laughs> so all right, carpet's wow. turn. Can we befriend the carpet. <laughs> I mean, you can try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna essentially caress it on my turn. I'm gonna apologize for what I've done. Well, I have a tray C. So. Okay, so, uh, Yertle, this carpet, it's it's been sort of delayed by you, sort of like, uh, like slithering up, but it begins to crack your shell. Ooh. Do I have to make any strength saves against it? Uh, 
at the end of your turn, you do. Okay, good, because I do get an advantage in strength and constitution, and I have a plus four to my already 17 AC. Because of the Jesus Christ. But you're going to take 13 points of damage as, thing, as you can't breathe as this thing envelops you, and then also it's, like, crushing you. Can't breathe. Jeez. Huh, that's a problem. Gail, I will fucking shank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm saying that sarcastically and seriously. Shank, shank, shank. Don't be sarcastic about my death. <laughs> if you, hey, if you've not read my backstory, you don't know. You understand how extremely sarcastic he is. But yeah. Well, mate, so, I like why the hell would we read your backstory? Ooh. Yeah, what was on my cheek? Because yes. I don't think that's something you're supposed to do with other player characters. Yeah. A lot of people put her in the front. I, I don't personally care if you guys it was meant for you guys. Okay, but uh, Gail, what do you do? Yeah. I'm gonna shove it. Save him. No, we'll slash it. Yeah. All right. This fucking car. It's the same car, just like driving back yeah. and forth. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so there's a 15 hit because I assume I get advantage because Julian. Yeah, you know, on. Julian is on this thing, like on top of this thing. Um. And it's not really moving. It is wrapped around someone. Also, that's like my third natural one of the, fourth natural one of the night. <laughs> to be fair, two of them were canceled off by advantage, so it's fine. But yeah, so does the fifteen hit? Yeah, go and roll the damage. It's always shocking something while someone's on it and someone's in it. <laughs> I mean, it's all. I mean, is the carp is the carpet conductive? Also, it's one point of lightning damage. So. This is um. You know, yeah, I'm mean. Uh, you're, you take one point of lightning damage. Oh, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> okay, so don't do that. So, uh, but the, the carpet does as you like plunge your blade in it. It just like rips in half and just like falls to the ground cool. around Yertle's feet. I miss him. Well, to be fair, at least there was only one damage. And Julian, you're just sort of like you're just Yertle's basically giving you a piggyback ride as the carpet <laughs> yeah. sort of sinks down to the ground. Not around Yertle's feet, around Yertle's. Hey, buddy, you doing all right? Um, so we need to get this two, two, I guess. Don't worry, there's only four more battles to go. That carpet and that armor. <sighs> you mean two more? Can then I, just uh, don't step on the carpets, everybody! Can I roll up there was the no other way around. the carpet? I want to steal yes, this there carpet. Was. Except for touching another carpet! You want to mending the carpet and, t and take it? No, no, I don't want to mend it. I want to, I want to roll up the two halves and like stuff it in my bag. Why are? Oh, yeah, you take the carpet. Too obvious that we've been in here, then. Look, man. Like, way too obvious. I'll ditch it if I have to. I okay. I'm now going to check ah, it. if this armor is not Wait, friendly. You're the, you're the, Are you sure? You look kind of beat up. He's I'm going to like get one of my hands out and ready and start chanting something about like nature and it corroding away the metal and taking it back into the earth. Hmm. Huh. Pairing a primal savagery, as we would call it as players, yeah. in character, praying to God that it's, well, to anything, and it is not uh, animated. Yertl, as you go to walk towards the armor, uh, Miriam grabs you, sort of like uh, like on the back of your shoulder, she says, um, maybe don't walk in front of it. Yeah, we should. We could just go, or we don't. Just, unless it stabs us in the back, we don't really need to go near it and provoke it. If it does, if it does exist. Uh, look, guys, don't touch anything. Don't look at anything the wrong way. Just be careful. If it you looks know? like it can stab you, then it probably will. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna. I mean, the carpet didn't look like it could stab me. Yeah, but I'm it just... looked like it could strangle you, and it did. I'm just gonna it turn my basically crunched my shell. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn my wand into a sword and carefully poke the door to see if it reacts first before I try and open it. How can you, you mimic? Give, you give the you give the door a tap. Uh, yeah. Nothing happens. Love okay, that. I'm gonna try and open it now. Sword drawn, obviously. I don't uh, trust anything locked. now. Okay, lock picks go. Uh, you're not oh, having the shit. best time with this one. Uh, the locks, you were kind of expecting the locks to be similar, but the, the two doors have like a distinct, uh, like sort of functions in the way that the tumblers connect, and you just can't really get it open. Do you want okay, me give me to try to help you with that? Nah, it's fine. Give me a sec. I'll do it. I'll try again. Can I? 
or what I need. Nah, you're, you, this lock is just too much for you. You're like you're standing at it for like two minutes. Ah, fuck it. Let's just break the lock. We can just give me right? a try at. Let me try unlocking yeah, the lock. Give me a go. <laughs> yeah, sure, fine. Take it. Why don't you turn into like a like a spider or something and just like mess with the lock or something? Can you do Can that? You that yeah, time? that would be a death trap, I believe. I, hey, I guess. And we need to yeah, save yeah. him to turn into a big tiger when things get dicey. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. hand your, I'm gonna hand your to my lockpicks. Go for it. Thank you. All right. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Yertle, you take the little tiny needles in your big old turtle hands, and you <laughs> just, like, Gale, Gale was really struggling with it, and you just effortlessly, like, open this lock. Like butter. Okay. 